Hey everyone, Matthew here, the Lanco History Saver. I thought I would make a quick tutorial video on how to apply the transparency effect that I sometimes use uh, on my social media and, and potentially even in some upcoming uh, videos here. The transparency effect I think gives a great, great way to bring our finds back to life, especially with coins, as you'll see here in, our, in the tutorial, but also with old pictures. This can be a great um, <clears throat> effect to apply. So let's take a look and we'll dive into what may be a, a finished product and then we'll learn how to do it. Let's do it. All right, so let's dive into this tutorial. So I'm gonna be using my iPhone, uh, and what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go up to the Photos app. So once we go up to the Photos app, we're gonna select that. We'll pick our picture uh, that we're gonna use. Today I'm gonna use my King George III uh, Hibernia, 1782, found in a field this past spring. So once we have our picture, uh, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go open up Safari or whatever internet uh, you use. We're gonna find an undug version of that coin. So here I found a great picture of a 1782 Hibernia and we're gonna use this picture. Then you wanna long press on the picture and then we can add it to the photos. That'll send it right over to your photo. Uh, album. So after we get it into our photo album, then we're going to bring it up and we're going to go into the top right hand corner, hit edit, we'll go to crop, and then we'll just take in the sides a little bit so that way we uh, don't have to work with all that space. Once we hit that, we'll save it and that picture will then be saved in the photo album. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up a third party app. Uh, this is an app that I use to edit all my photos uh, on my iPhone, um, and it's a great free app. Not sure about for Android, but for iOS it is. It's called PixLR, and we see here that we have a lot of options, but we're going to go into our photos, and we're going to go to the picture we want to start with. Once we have that, we see the, uh, the different uh, icons down at the bottom. We're going to do that first one, that little toolbox. Now here we can crop, rotate, auto-fix, sharpen, but what we're going to focus in here is the double exposure. So once we click the double exposure, it'll bring up a spot to add a photo. So we're going to tap it. We'll go to our undug version, select that. And now we see it brings it right on top of our picture. Now, the little sliding bar at the bottom of the screen, that adjusts the transparency. So as you can see here, we're going back and forth. I like to set it to about half, uh, three quarters. And then I adjust the size first before I start to line up anything. So we'll kind of get that size just right over top of the picture. And this takes a little bit of uh, getting used to. <clears throat> but once I have it approximate size, I'll just double check it. And then I slide the picture off, uh, off of the original photo. Um, and I want to look for key points here, like the top of the crown and then that B in Hibernia. Those are going to be good reference points. Once I have those reference points, I then take the image, kind of shrink and enlarge and rotate and twist until I get a good overlay. And you can see that uh, we're not quite there, uh, but we move it and there you go. See, every once in a while you get that clear, crisp overlap. We can take the transparency back and forth just to kind of eyeball. And you see that B and the crown are really lining up nicely. So once we do that for a few times, and you're going to start to see how we're actually going to get the final product here. Um, but what we want to do is we're going to go into our phone, and by scrolling from the top down, we see this screen record option. We're going to go ahead and select that. As you can see, I'm already recording. Once we're recording, I'm going to take the transparency bar, and I'm just going to slowly slide it back and forth 
and kind of playing with the distance, uh, whether I want it to be like full transparency or just barely coming through so you kind of see the detail. It almost looks like your coin, you're actually doing x-ray vision on your coin, it's pretty cool. But I'll go back and forth maybe five, six, seven times. That way it gives me a good um, range that I can then narrow down the video uh, a little later. So once I'm done doing that, I'll go ahead back up, click the screen record button, it'll take it off. Now that will get saved to your photo album. So once it's saved to your photo album, you're gonna open that up, hit edit, and now you can trim. So as you see, it, it actually records me ending the recording. So we're gonna trim that piece off and we'll kind of play around till we get to a good position. Once we find that, what we're gonna do is look at cropping. So it's, it records the whole screen. So what we wanna do is we wanna hit the crop button, bring that crop right on up so that way we get rid of the top of the screen and the bottom of the screen just to fill in the picture and once we have that we can then uh, go back to save video it'll save it as a new video and um, there you're going to be good to go and then you can upload it to whatever media you like so there you have it that's how you do the transparency effect to some of your finds i think this effect adds some real depth to the finds that we find that would have otherwise been lost forever. So have fun, get out there, have an adventure, and I'll see you on the next one.